So productive struggle is this idea that it's okay for things to be difficult, for them to take some time, and that a big part of the learning happens when students have to struggle, try again, come up with a new strategy, maybe um, use some new resources or knowledge from other students or teachers in order to get at what they are trying to accomplish. So when I'm planning a lesson, the first part is I have to plan for that productive struggle, which usually means that I need to plan a lot more time, that a reading lesson is going to take a lot more time because students need time to read a text multiple times. They need time to maybe um, consult resources like a dictionary or a website. And they need time to discuss and try again and try again and try again. So that's part of the planning process. And then as it's happening, it's also a bit of, you know, as a teacher, learning to sort of sit on your hands, or in this case, keep your mouth closed, <laughs> uh, long enough for them to have time to really put their thoughts together and try. And then when they don't get it right, to be careful not to jump in with the correct answer right away, or even to lead them too directly to the answer. So it, it's a strategy that I've developed over time, it wasn't easy at first, of being able to question students along the way. And how I do that questioning, I think, it's a little hard to break down, but it's about thinking about the various steps of understanding that they need to get to this larger answer. So I might, if I see that they're struggling with understanding a particular paragraph, I might start by looking at what are the most difficult vocabulary words in there and start questioning them about, do you know what this word means? Have you looked it up? What did your dictionary say about it? How does that help you understand that sentence? And then once I feel like they've got the vocabulary words, then I might look at the next thing that I think makes that sentence complex and then ask them specific questions about that. So I'm also helping them break down the task through my guiding questions. And then the last part is encouragement. Students who aren't used to working in an environment of productive struggle need a lot of encouragement in order to build up their tolerance of that productive struggle. And so in this lesson, students spent a long time in these small groups struggling with the vocabulary. They haven't always been able to do that. That was stamina that we had to build up over time as they learned that it was OK to not know the right answer right away, to guess at it, to talk about it, to circle around it and use different resources and eventually get there. But that the learning comes from doing something difficult. And so I also try to be a cheerleader to let them know that that's part of the process and that's how they're going to get stronger at reading.